All right. Let's talk. We're still working on distribution of polynomials, but let's look at something like this. And I make a side statement that x equals negative 1 and y equals 2. What this means is that I'm for every x, I'm going to plug in negative 1. And for every y, I'm going to plug in 2. So 3x squared y, well, negative 1 backfills, 2 backfills. We're back to our order of operations from previous, and we're talking, what is negative 1 squared? Well, and if we square a number, it means it's that number times itself that many times. So in this case, squared is negative 1 times negative 1, and negative times a negative is a positive. 1 times 1 is 1. So we end up with 3 times 1 times 2. All right, now we can go left to right. So 3 times 1 is 3 times 2, and 3 times 2 is 6. So 3x squared y, when x equals negative 1 and y equals 2, it equals 6. So let's try another one. All right, I'm going to keep x and y as x equals negative 1, y equals 2. So again, we're going to go back through and backfill. And notice I'm putting the parenthesis around just the letter. All right. Now, negative 1 squared already learned was 1. So this turns into 2 times 1 plus. But this time we have a negative 1 power. Remember, in a previous email I, or video, I stated a negative power says, move me. So what this means is that the 2 doesn't want to be beside the 4. It wants to be under the 4. When I'm moving down, because it's not happy to be beside him, that takes away that negative exponent. So let's clean up. 2 times 1 is 2, and 4 divided by 2 is 2, so my answer is 4. All right? There you go. There's a quick review on, I refer to it as the plug and play, because I'm plugging in numbers into expressions and cleaning it up. All right, good luck.